Let's move on to Andrew Wiggins then, because look, I got to tell you guys, we talked about his big payday, right, before the season, where the owner said, I expect more from you upcoming from giving you all this money, and he wasn't quite able to live up to expectations, but then again, neither did the Wolves as a whole, and Wiggins discussed his final thoughts on this year with the Pioneer Press. Take a look at what he said. Quote, I learned a lot, but I don't think I had the best season. It's motivation for the summer. Mr. Timberwolves, what do you think about this? <laughs> I actually thought that he had some moments at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. He had a couple of humongous free throws under pressure in the last game of the season. And there were times in that Wolves series, and Jimmy Butler was obviously still hurt. I'm giving him a total pass. But mm -hmm. there were times in that series where Carl Towns and some other guys weren't playing their best, where Wiggins was, you know, he wasn't playing top level basketball, but he actually did okay. So I actually am a little bit more, uh, I feel a little bit better about Wiggins towards the end of the season than I did sort of at midseason. I still think that the top end of this uh, team will be determined by how good he becomes. And we're now four years in, we've seen it, and typically you see guys make jumps by now. You kind of know who you are four years. And if this is who Andrew Wiggins is going to be, then he's going to be a disappointing player. So the challenge is definitely there for him. I hope he's not a disappointing player. I really expect more out of him. The talent is there. I think sometimes Andrew just gets caught, you know, just floating in games, sure. uh, whereas he has the talent to be able to make a huge impact, whether it's defensively or offensively, and, and, and take over games. And he just, right now, just doesn't get it. Um, but I'm available. Come work out with, with okay, me, wait. my Adidas guy. Do you, you actually know. mean it? Or is this an no, no, no. actual I'm invitation? Serious. I talked to him about this during the Hall of Fame weekend, um, and, and we exchanged numbers. I would love to work him out because uh, the upside for him is, is huge because he's so talented. Right. He just has to realize that, what they expect of him. I mean, you signed the $150 million contract. you got to deliver. <laughs> I would come to work out with you just to <clears throat> hang out by your pool after the workout. Brian, anytime <laughs> you want to, man. He's got one of the best anytime. pools in Texas, as far as I can tell. <laughs> and a very nice gym if you follow his IG stories. So he absolutely, this is something Andrew Wiggins should take him up on.